There is fresh artillery fire in the centre of Donetsk in East Ukraine. Anti-government forces say at least one person has died, with residential areas again being the target. A similar assault on Thursday saw a Red Cross worker killed. Russia is demanding an investigation. Neither side, though, is admitting to being behind the sporadic fire, which is destabilising the shaky truce implemented a month ago. The fiercest battle right now is for control of Donetsk airport. It used to be the vital international hub for eastern Ukraine, but this is how it looks now. Well, Donetsk itself is largely in ruins after being pounded with mortar shells and bombs for months. Here, two engineer workers are on the roof of an apartment building uh, which they're sweeping for mines before clearing. It's a dangerous task being conducted citywide, as Maria Fanoshina reports. Rows of fresh graves. Some bear no name. Most, we were told, belong to fighters from both sides of the conflict. But here is one of a civilian. An old lady died after she stepped on a mine. Locals call them the army's gifts and exploded, hidden, waiting silently for their victims. It's actually hard to say who exactly planted them. The fact is that there are many. There was a case when we cleared an apartment and the shell went through two walls but didn't explode. There was another case when we cleared the room of a little girl and she was living in there with this device and exploded. And when I took the shell out, she asked me if she could now sleep safely. Alexander is a combat engineer. He prefers not to be identified. He says recently he's had a lot of work. This is a very scary one. These are from the multiple rocket launches. One is enough for a tank to burn down. Now imagine how they destroy houses. This is some of what Alexander has diffused in the last three weeks and in just one district. He believes there is much more. These are just few of many unexploded devices that still could be found in the fields and in the forests, in the villages and in the towns all across eastern Ukraine. If I touch them, they will explode. They were sent to kill, they were supposed to hurt, but fortunately it never happened. But there are others and they are still dangerous. Just minutes later, as if echoing our fears, two youngsters from a nearby village come to us claiming they found an unexploded shell. We were walking the dog and we found a shell. These boys fled their hometown when it was being shelled. They're back now, but fear remains. We're scared that something might blow up. Wherever you go, you walk carefully, as we may step on something dangerous. The UN estimates more than 3,000 people have already been killed in the conflict in eastern Ukraine. But many suspect the final number could be much higher, once all the unmarked graves are accounted for. Marie Fnoshna, RT, Eastern Ukraine.